So practice 7.2, questions number 1. Point P divides the line segment joining point A and B below in the given ratios. Finds the coordinates of point P. So this will be the line segment AB in the questions A. And based on the ratios, A to P, the ratio is equal to 3. And from P to B, the ratio is equal to 2. To find the coordinate of P, which is the divisor of the line segment, then we are going to refer to the formula here. So the x coordinate of point P will be 2 times 3 plus 3 times negative 7 divided by the total ratio, which is 3 plus 2. And for the y coordinate, it will be 2 times 7 plus 3 times 2 divided by the total ratio. So this will be equal to negative 15 over 5 and 20 over 5. Simplify this, you will get negative 3 and 4. Therefore, the coordinate P will be negative 3, 4. Questions B. This will be the line segment AB and this is the ratios given. So it is 2 AP to 1 PB. To get the ratios correctly, this is what you can do. You can collect the AP and PB on one side and the number 2 and 1 on the other side. So here I'm going to move the PB to the left hand side and this number 2 to the right hand side. So this will be AP over PB. This is equal to 1 over 2. So from here you will know that the ratio of AP is 1 and the ratio of PB is 2. So let's say the point P is here. So AP is 1 and PB is 2. So the coordinate for P will be 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 4 divided by the total ratio which is 1 plus 2. And for the y coordinate of P, it will be 1 times 5 plus 2 times negative 1 and divide by 1 plus 2. This is equal to negative 6 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3. So simplify this, you will get negative 2 and 1. Therefore, the coordinate P for questions B will be negative 2. 1. Question C. So this is the line segment AB and this is going to be the ratio. So using the method in questions B, so this will be AP over PB. This is equal to 2 over 3. So the ratio for AP is 2 and the ratio for PB is 3. So here let's say this is the point B. So the ratio here is 2 and the ratio here is 3. The x coordinate of P will be 3 times 7 plus 2 times negative 3 divided by the total ratio 3 plus 2. And the y coordinate will be 3 times negative 3 plus 2 times 2 divided by 3 plus 2. So this will equal to 15 over 5 and negative 5 over 5. So simplify this, you will get 3 and negative 1. Therefore, the coordinate P will be 3, negative 1. Questions number 2. Point R with the coordinate PT defines the line segment joining points A with the coordinates 2H, H, H and B with the coordinates 2P, 3T in the ratios 2 to 3. Express P in terms of T. So let's say the line segment AB look like this. So based on the ratios, A to point R, the ratio is equal to 2. And from R to B, the ratio will equal to 3. To get the X coordinates of the point R, which is the P, it will be 2 times 2P 
plus 3 times 2h and divide by the total ratio which is 3 plus 2. So here this will be 4p plus 6h over 5. So next I'm going to move the 5 to the left hand side. So it will be 5p equal to 4p plus 6h. So next I can solve for the p. I'm going to move the 4p to the left hand side. So 5p minus 4p. So this will be just 1p. So p is equal to 6h. And to find the coordinate y of the point R, which is the t, it will be 2 times 3t plus 3 times h, which is 3h over the total ratios. So this will be t is equal to 6t plus 3h over 5. Again, move the 5 to the left hand side. So 5t is equal to 6t plus 3h. So here we can solve for the t. So move the 6t to the left hand side. So 5t minus 6t, this will equal to negative t. So 3h is equal to negative t. As we want to express p in terms of t, then I'm going to let the h here as the subject. Then h is equal to negative t over 3. So next, I'm going to substitute the h equal to negative t over 3 into the equations p equal to 6h. So this will be p equal to 6 times negative t over 3. So here, we can simplify the 3 and the 6. So finally, p is equal to negative 2t. So here we already express p in terms of t. Questions number 3. A straight line passes through points A with the coordinate negative 2, negative 5 and point B with the coordinate 6, 7. Point C divides the line segment AB in the ratios 3 to 1 while D divides AB in the ratios 1 to 1. Find A, the coordinate of C. With the ratios 3 to 1, this means from A to point C, the ratio is equal to 3, whereas from point C to B, the ratio is equal to 1. To find the coordinate of C, it will be 3 times 6 plus 1 times negative 2 divided by the total ratio which is 3 plus 1 this is for the x coordinate and for the y it will be 3 times 7 plus 1 times negative 5 divided by 3 plus 1 so this will equal to 16 over 4 and the coordinate y will be 16 over 4 or so. So therefore, the coordinate for the c will be 4 and 4. Questions B, finds the coordinates of D. So based on the ratio 1 to 1, we know that the coordinate of D is the midpoint because it divides the line segment AB into equal half. So point D will be at the middle of the line segment AB with the ratio 1 to 1. The X coordinates for the point D will be 1 times 6 plus 1 times negative 2 and divide by the total ratio which is 1 plus 1. And for the Y coordinate it will be 1 times 7 plus 1 times negative 5 and divide by 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 4 over 2 and the y coordinate will be 2 over 2. So simplify this, the answer will be 2, 1. Questions number 4. Point P divides the line segment joining the points A and B in the ratios AP to PB. 
Find the ratio AP to PB and the value of K for each of the following. So let's say the line segment AB in the questions A look like this. So to find the ratio AP to PB, let's say we label the ratio here as M to N. So this means from A to point P, the ratio here is M and from P to B, this is N. As the coordinate x for each point is given, so we're going to use that to find the ratios. So to get the negative ones of the point P, we're going to use the ratio of m times negative 5 plus the ratio n times 1 and divide by the total ratio which is m plus n. So here negative 1 is equal to negative 5m plus n over m plus n. So next move this m plus n to the left hand side. So it will be negative 1 times m plus n. This is equal to negative 5m plus n. So expand this. This is negative m minus n equal to negative 5m plus n. So next I'm going to collect the m on the left hand side and the n on the right hand side. So this will be negative m plus 5m equal to n plus n. So this is equal to 4m equal to 2n. So we can write the ratios in the form of fractions. So next I'm going to move the n to the left hand side and the number 4 to the right hand side. So m over n this is equal to 2 over 4. So the 2 over 4 we can simplify it then this is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore the ratio m to n this is equal to 1 to 2. So now as we know the ratio now we can find the value of k. So as k is the coordinate y for the points a then here we just focus on the coordinate y. So here when the number 2, the ratio 2, multiply with the k, which is the y coordinates of the points a, plus with 1 times 10, which is 10, over the total ratio, which is 2 plus 1, this will equal to the coordinate y's of the point p, which is 2. So here 2k plus 10 will equal to, so 2 plus 1 is 3, move to the right hand side, it will be 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. Next, 2k is equal to, 6 minus 10 which is equal to negative 4 so k equal to negative 4 divided by 2 so k is equal to negative 2 questions b so here we're going to let the ap ratio ap to pb equal to m to n so from a to p the ratio is m and p to b the ratio is n so as the coordinate y of each point is given, so we need to use the coordinate y to solve for the ratios. So to find the coordinate y of 4 in the point P, so this will be m times 6 which is equal to 6m plus n times 2 which is 2n over the total ratio. This will give us the answer of 4. So next we want to move the m plus n to the right hand side it will be 4 times m plus n so this is equal to 4m plus 4n after you expand it so we're going to collect the m on the left hand side and the n on the right hand side so this will be 6m minus 4m which is equal to 2m and the, on the right hand side it will be 4n minus 2n which is equal to 2n so we're going to move the n to the left hand side and the number 2 to the right hand side. So m over n, this is equal to 2 over 2, which we can simplify it to 1 over 1. So here, the ratios of m to n is equal to 1 to 1, which means the point P is the midpoint. Now to find the value k, which is the coordinate x of the point b, then we're going to focus on the x coordinate for each point. 
So here, when 1 times k plus 1 times 1 over the total ratio, this will give us the coordinate x of the point P, which is 3. So k plus 1 equal to, so 1 plus 1 is 2. Move to the right hand side, it will be 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Then k is equal to 6 minus 1, then k is equal to 5. Question C, let's say the line segment of AB look like this. And the ratio AP to PM is M to N. So from A to P, this will be the M. And from P to B, this one will be the N. As the coordinate Y for each point is given, so we're going to use that to find the ratio. So the M, multiply the add, we're going to get at M plus and the n multiplied by 3, this one will give you the answer of 3n over the total ratio, which is m plus n. This will give us the coordinate y for the point P, which is equal to 4. So move the m plus n to the right hand side, it will be 4 times m plus n. Expand this, you're going to get 4m plus 4n. So here I'm going to collect the m on the right hand side and the n on the left hand side so at m minus 4m this is equal to 4n minus 3n so 4m is equal to n then i'm going to move the n to the left hand side and the number 4 to the right hand side so m over n this is equal to 1 over 4 so here the ratio of m to n is equal to 1 to 4 Next, to find the value k, we're going to look at the x-coordinate. So here, when 4 times k, we're going to get 4k plus 1 times 2, this is 2, over the total ratio, which is 4 plus 1. This will give us the x-coordinate of the point P, which is equal to 6. So here, 4k plus 2 is equal to, so move the 4 plus 1, which is the 5, to the right-hand side. It will be 6 times 5, which is equal to 30. So 4k equal to 30 minus 2, which is equal to 28. So k is equal to 28 divided by 4. So the value of k is equal to 7. Questions D. So let's say the line segment AB look like this. So the ratio AP, we're going to label this as the M. And P to B, we're going to label this as N. So as the x coordinate for each point is given, so we're going to use that to find the ratio. So here, first, m times 2, we're going to get 2m plus the n times the negative 3, we're going to get negative 3n over the total ratio, which is m plus n. This will give us the x coordinate of the point P, which is the negative 1. So here, 2m minus 3n is equal to negative 1 times the m plus n so expand this here we're going to get negative m minus n so next i'm going to collect all the m on the left hand side and the n on the right hand side so we're going to get 2m plus m this is equal to negative n plus 3n so here we're going to have 3m equal to 2n so next, I'm going to move the n to the left hand side and the number 3 to the right hand side. So m over n is equal to 2 over 3. Therefore, the ratio m to n will equal to 2 to 3. Next, to find the value of the k, we're going to refer to the y coordinate. So here to get the coordinate y of the point p, which is the k, we're going to use 2 times 8 plus 3 times negative 2 and divide this with the total ratio, which is 2 plus 3. So here we're going to have 16 minus 6 over 5. So this is equal to 10 over 5. Simplify this, k is equal to 2.